SwiftUI gives us alignment guides for the various edges of our views. We've seen leading here, there's also trailing, there's uh, top, there's center, and of course those two special ones, uh, the first text baseline and last text baseline that are helpful with text alignment. However, none of these options here are helpful when you're working with two very disparate views. When you have two views in very different parts of your view hierarchy that you have to make align somehow. To fix this, SwiftUI gives us the ability to make custom alignment guides and use these guides in various parts of our UI. And it means that no matter what comes before or after some views, they'll still be forced to align to those guides no matter where they are. For example, I could write some code in here that shows my Twitter account name and profile picture on one side and a hstack. On the right side, it'll show full name and Paul Hudson. So I'll say as a hstack. On the left hand side will be a vstack with the text of at two straws. Then an image of the image Paul Hudson, which will be resizable and have the frame width 64, height 64 on one side. And the other side of the H stack will be another V stack with text, uh, full name, and then text, I'll do capital T of course, text Paul Hudson in a nice chunky font, so a large title. Now if I wanted Paul Hudson here and at two straws to be vertically aligned together, it'd be very hard right now because they're, they're in their own individual stacks inside our H stack and there's no built-in way to get the alignment we want. Even like saying uh, hashtag alignment uh, of top wouldn't get us remotely close because it's doing full name and two straws, not Paul Hudson and two straws, which is what I want to try and get. To fix this, we've got to define a custom alignment guide, which should be an extension on either vertical alignment or horizontal alignment, depending on what you're trying to get. And be a custom type that conforms to a protocol called alignment ID. Now, when I say custom type, you're probably thinking, ah, I can make this a struct. Please don't. It's actually a good idea to make this an enum and I'll explain later on. Uh, the alignment guide protocol only has one actual requirement, which is um, the conforming type, the enum we're going to define, must have a static default value in method that accepts some view dimensions and returns a CG float, yes, CG float, uh, saying how the view should be aligned if it doesn't have its own alignment guide modifier. You'll be given the view dimensions uh, object for the view. Here you go, how do you want to align it? So you can just pick one of those if you want to or pass back a hard-coded value. So let's write it out and break it down. First up, we'll do an extension on vertical alignment with a strut called mid account and name. That's my name for name and account name. That's what I want, middle line of that. And I'll do alignment ID here. Again, this thing needs to have that single default uh, method, default value in, this thing here, boom. Again, given the view dimensions we're working with, pass back a CG float. Uh, I'm gonna say in this context, pass back the top value. So we've got this view dimensions coming in, pass back the top value for it. And then to make it easier to use, we'll say static let mid account and name be a vertical alignment using mid account name dot self. So we can refer now to just dot mid account and name rather than have to make that whole thing every single time, which is a bit more painful. Anyway, you can see I've used the top view dimension by default and uh, made this helper thing here so the whole thing's easy to work with. Now I mentioned this can be a struct, of course it can be a struct, but enums work better. They work better, I think, and, and here's why. We just made a new struct called mid account and name, which means if we wanted to, we could make an instance of this struct. We could say, let foo equals a new mid account and name, even though doing so makes no sense. This thing is not designed to be made and work with, it's designed to be used as just some pure data. And it's a bit confusing. If we'd said, actually, this is an enum mid account and name, then we can't make a new mid account and name. There's no cases to make here. We can call functions on it like default value in, but we can't make an instance of it. And it becomes clearer, this thing exists only to house some functionality and you shouldn't try and make an instance of this type. Regardless of whether you choose an enum or a struct, its usage stays the same. 
set it as the alignment for your stack. Then use alignment guide freely inside there to activate it on any views you actually want to align together. This is only a guide. It's called alignment guide, not alignment rule, right? It helps you align views along a single line, but doesn't say how they should be aligned inside there. And this means you still have to provide the closure to alignment guide to position the views along that guide as you want. For example, we could update our Twitter code to use mid account name, then tell the account name and our name to use a center position for that guide, right? So what we're saying is, align these two views so their centers are both on the mid account and name line, the invisible line we have guide. So we'll say our H stack is aligned based on the alignment of uh, dot mid account and name. That's a little help that we have here. That makes it much easier to work with. So use that thing here, use mid account and name. And now uh, two straws, this thing here, I want to give it a custom alignment guide alignment guide along mid account and name. And when it comes to making the value, let's do dimensions in, use dimensions vertical alignment dot center. Use that center position right here for my position. So you make my center follow mid account and name. That's what we're saying here. Now you can see, I've taken that vertical alignment out, it's being confused. What do you mean? And that's why we have to be explicit. I mean vertical alignment dot center. And that matters because center could mean horizontal as well. So be really, really clear. Don't try and do just center, it won't work. Be explicit. I mean the vertical center, not the horizontal one or both, the vertical one only. So use my center for that mid account name guide. And then I'll do exactly the same thing for my uh, Paul Hudson text here you should also have the mid account and name guide also using the vertical center. And I press preview now, boom. So there's a vis invisible guideline running right through here. And we've told these two views make their center point, so right to the middle of Paul Hudson and, and two, straw, two straws, lie on that line. That's what's happening here. And it'll mean they will remain vertically aligned no matter what. No matter what, I could I could add as many other text views ahead and above and below, and it'll all move around to fit that correctly. If I add more, let's do more after here, for example, doesn't matter. It'll all move around to match that. As far as it can, it's still a guide. You know, if you had another guide with some other rules in there that conflicted with these rules, you have a problem, but here it'll do its best to follow it at all times. Uh, and you'll just see SwiftUI carry on repositioning everything smoothly to make sure they stay aligned with your custom alignment guide we defined.